So when we're looking at setting these up, first we want to look at what is the question. It says what percent. So that means I know that when I'm setting up my ratio for percents, I don't know what the percent is, but I do know it's out of 100. And remember the word of tells us the whole. So what percent of 60 is 15? So we would set it up like this and then cross multiply. Again, the question is gonna tell you where our unknown is. I see 15% here of 60. So the of 60 tells me it's the whole. What number tells me this is the unknown? And 15% tells me that it's 15 over 100. This one is interesting because it starts with a number and where I see the of, that's the question. So nine is 12% of which number? That means nine is my part, X is my whole because it is the question of which number? That's my unknown. And my percent is 12 over 100. This one starts with the fraction of the percent by saying 12%. I could put it first, it doesn't have to go second. Of 72 tells me of 72 means 72 is the whole. What number? My question is what number? So my unknown is there. Number five, what percent of 50 is 18? Of 50 means it's the whole is 18 that's my part we don't know what the percent is because that's the question but we do know it's going to be out of 100. this one's nice because you wouldn't actually have to cross multiply 50 times 2 gives you 100 so you could do 18 times 2 to get the percent or cross multiply 12 is 90 percent of what number? That means 12 goes with the 90. 12 is 90%. That means 12 and 90 go together. 90 is the percent, so its whole is 100. The question is of what number? Our unknown is here. Okay. I had a few people ask questions about number 7. So I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit there. A pair of sneakers is on sale as shown. So this is the sale price. This is 75% of the original price. So in this case, I'm comparing sale price to original price. I know my sale price is 51. So this would be dollars. And it is 75% so this is my percent of the original price. The question says, what was the original price of the shoes? That's our unknown right there. Of the 60 books on a bookshelf, 24 are nonfiction. What percent of the books are nonfiction? The question then is what percent? So we know in our percent ratio, we don't know what the part is, but because it's a percent ratio, we know the whole is always 100. Of the 60 books on a bookshelf, where's the of? Right here. So that's my whole. 24 are nonfiction. So we know that this is nonfiction and that this is all the books, or the total. 24 is equal to what percent is what the question is asking. So we know we have it set up right. Okay, the last few problems. Number nine says 40 is 50% of what number? Of what number means our unknown is going to be down here. 40 is the 50%. So this right here is telling me that 40 and 50 are the part. This is 50%, so it's 50 over 100. 12.5% 
of what number is 24? This and is 24 go together, and of what number gives us a denominator that we don't know? What percent of 300 is 0.6? Here's the of, that's telling us that it's the whole. Here's the part, 0 0.6. What percent means the question mark would go here or the variable over 100? And finally, what number is 5% of 8? 0.5% of 8, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. So we're going to start with 0.5%. What number is 0.5% of 8? That means 8 is our whole, and we don't know what our number is. So this is a good way for you to check and see if you set these problems up correctly, and I'll leave it to you to do the cross multiplication. I would like this paper turned on today after you've checked those, and then I'm going to have you turn to page 127 and practice doing 17 through 26 in the same way. I would like this also torn out and turned in today. But before you do, I'd like you to turn the page and also do this Common Core Spiral Review. If you choose to do this top part, you can. But the expectation is this part here with these six problems when we're multiplying fractions, we multiply straight across. But down here, we have division of fractions, so you're going to practice keep, change, flip. And you're also turning in page 127. So completing all of this page as well. I would like these two torn out, and you can staple them together to turn them in. There will be a stapler on top of the turning basket.